Developing now a controversial measure that criminalizes abortions based on genetic abnormalities is now headed to Governor Ducey's desk. This comes after lawmakers initially rejected it two weeks ago. Team 12's Bianca Bono joins us with both sides of the debate. Arizona already has some of the most restrictive laws. And Arizona's abortion laws are now one step closer to getting more restrictive after lawmakers passed a measure criminalizing abortions based on genetic abnormalities, except in a medical emergency. It puts the doctor-patient relationship at risk. Under the new legislation, doctors like Dr. Deshaun Taylor, who knowingly perform an abortion under those circumstances, could be charged with a felony. And doctors who don't report a violation could face a $10,000 fine. It really forces people into more desperate situations. Kathy Herod of the Center for Arizona Policy, a conservative nonprofit lobbying group, disagrees. These laws do not interfere with the doctor-patient relationship. It looks out for the lives of unborn children that they should not be discriminated against in the womb. Beyond restricting abortions, the measure also grants personhood rights to fetuses, bans mailing abortion-inducing drugs, and more. As the bill heads to Governor Ducey's desk, Taylor is urging him to veto. Listen to Arizonans. The majority of Arizonans believe that decisions around reproductive health care and specifically abortion are intimate decisions that should be made between the pregnant person and their health care provider. And we've reached out to the governor's office asking if he plans to sign this measure into law and if so, when? So far, no response. We're at the Arizona State Capitol. Bianca Bono, 12 News.